Over here, you can see that I have a project right here. And in the project, you can see that there's a voiceover and a background music right here. So if I were to press the play button, You hear out the background music right there and you hear out my voice on top of it as well. But what I want is I want the background audio to be adjusted according to my voice over right here. So in that case, what you can do is you can use a feature called auto ducking. So to do that, I'm going to double click on my uh, voice over um, uh, voice over first and then I'm going to go around and let's just go around and let's say increase out the clip volume for my voice so that uh, the audio level for this is a bit high and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto the advanced area and I'm going to change the type right here and then I'm going to select voice because this is a voice type um, uh, audio right here. So another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and select uh, this clip right here just like this and over here you can see that music is an option right now and then what I'm going to do is simply click on auto duck. So once I do that, what happens is that it detected out the audio parts, as you can see, and it decreased out the volume for that particular portion where I'm speaking. So if I were to move this right here, just like this, you can see that the ducking actually changes out accordingly. So if I were to go around and play this, then this is what you hear. And this is going to be the voiceover example. So now my audio is being recorded. And after a pause, I'm going to continue recording out over here again. And that is how the audio volume automatically gets arranged out, as you can see. And that is how you can use the auto ducking feature inside of Adobe Premiere Press. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.